What is going on everybody? My name is Tim, 628 Productions, bringing you everything Thunderbird as usual. We're here at Carlisle All Ford Nationals. Got my buddy Ken Seegers, the man Hi. himself. He's here today, flipping the script. We've decided to call this bird talk over beverages. <laughs> <laughs> and Ken's gonna tell us about his beautiful car. Go ahead, Ken. Uh, 92 Thunderbird. Uh, automatic, owned it since 1995. It's been modified. It has uh, crane cam in it, uh, stock heads, but been ported and polished. Uh, M90 Magnum Powers Inlet, air to water intercooler. Um, basically, uh, you know, just enjoy enjoy the days you know driving it around and having fun coming up here and you know so unlike unlike me ken's car makes it every year so that's a testament and we've been we've been buddies for what like 20 years 20 years that's hard to believe he, he uh, basically raised me right here on the show ground <laughs> from uh, a little from a little yeah, little sprout taught me everything i know but um i mean you've owned this car probably 20 years right or more yeah since 95 since 95 okay what would you think the horsepower is kind of in the, the current status? Um, about 300. 300? 300. 300. Okay. Man, get a side profile. Nothing looks better in black than, uh, you know, these early models. Really just a beautiful car. Black on black. Tweed seats. Tweed seats. Tweed seats have a soft spot in my heart. I love the tweed seats. I think that's the best thing Ford did. I wish I had done that every year. You're spoiled. I'm spoiled. You're spoiled. <laughs> What kind of exhaust do you have on this can? Uh, I'm running a uh, Cook's Long Two Petters. Okay. I'm doing two and a half into a two and a half into um, three inch Magnaflow with pipes on the uh, back end of the car. Okay. Fantastic. It's all uh, all stainless steel. Custom. Everything was TIG welded. TIG welded. All right. Well, Ken, thank you. Thank you for raising me, like I said. <laughs> you know, this man's probably kept me out of jail a couple years here. Uh, <laughs> we've had some good times, stuff we probably won't talk about on YouTube. But uh, I appreciate you, man. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for letting uh, the channel know about your car. You're the reason I come to the show, man. People uh -huh. like you, this is like a family event for me. You guys are family. And uh, again, we're going to keep this going. This is what I'm going to do all day. We're going to do bird talk and beverages with everybody. There you go. And we're just going to see where it goes, man. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right, all right. I'm here with my boy Mitch. Second segment, bird talking beverages. Cheers. I'm gonna let it take it from here, man. Tell me about your car. All right, my name is Mitch. Uh, I have a '91 Thunderbird Super Coupe. Um, when I bought it, it was stopped for the most part. We had got the uh, lowering springs, did the rims, and one of my buddies in Hampton, Virginia, he hooked me up with this beautiful paint job. I don't even know what color to call it. Hell yeah. But he made the paint up and uh, he flaked it for me. Uh, other than that, not too much done to it. We put a cold air intake on it. Uh, and then I did the double intercooler instead of the stock single. And then we did the uh, sway bar. And it's a supercharger pulley. I think we did the 10% on it. Yeah. Now Mitch, Mitch is humble. He's real humble. He's from he's from Virginia. He's a Virginia boy like me. Him and him and Luis. You probably seen him on YouTube as well. He's got his own little channel. I'm gonna drop a link on that and I'm gonna pop his name in the description here. What'd you say? It was Snapshot 360. Snapshot 360. And they go to car shows and they represent the Virginia Beach Tidewater area, right? Yes, sir. And uh man, y'all been good friends. I was just uh I just did this with Ken. And I mean, we're like family, right? Yep. We've been doing this for years. Sure. And uh, man, y'all got a clean example. And like I said about, like I said about Ken's, y'all's car make it every year. Or, you know, I'm on jack stands half of my life, you know? <laughs> so I, I respect everything y'all got going here. Just a, a clean, beautiful example of a 91. And- Thank you, we really appreciate it. And uh, Black Celines. Y'all have heard me talk about Black Celines. We're gonna get Dave Fetter on here. Black Celines always, they just look good on these cars, period. You lower it and you throw some black Celines on it. And, and black interior, five speed, that's like every man's dream. Hard to find that. 
from the drive. Man. Heavy cars, but from the drive. And just mild bolt-ons, right? Yep. But it's enough. That's all these cars need, man. Need. But y'all keep the thunder and birds alive. I'm gonna get your buddy, man. I'm gonna, I see you over there. <laughs> I see you trying to duck out on me. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna keep, uh, again, we're calling this birds and beverages. Birds and I'm gonna beverages. cheers you, brother. I appreciate y'all being a part Thank of the you. channel. Appreciate and it. check him out, man. He's got great content. They go to some great shows. And, and I watch, man. So thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. All right. Y'all be good. All All right, man. All right. Another bird and beverages. Here with my friend Matthew Bruce. He's going to tell you about his exceptional anniversary edition Super Coupe. Go ahead. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Pleasure. My name is Matt Bruce. I'm here today loving it, loving Carlisle, loving the people, the family, the friends. What I brought with me today, 1990, 35th anniversary edition, Thunderbird Super Coupe. Um, I am actually the second owner of this vehicle. I ended up getting this vehicle last September, October. Um, stumbled upon it and I was, I was blessed and lucky enough to get it. It is an anniversary edition. 147 were done in a five-speed manual and this is one of those manuals, five-speed manual. And believe it or not, it only has 800 miles on the car. 800, 800 original miles. original miles. I even have a little placard that says that even shows it that and to just to let people know and if you want, you know, show the odometer, I'll show the odometer too. 800 miles. So I'm just sitting up there doing what I can to go ahead and try to keep it, keep it looking nice. And I'm very appreciative for everybody that's been sitting up there complimenting me on the car. Now I'll tell you how, how good of a guy this is, right? Last year, he watched the YouTube channel he saw I got the dub. He called me just to say congratulations, man. What kind of friend? Like, that's a great friend. We met, what, like five years ago? Absolutely. I mean, yep. you meet some of the best people here at Carlisle. And this this car is ridiculous. And we're going we gonna to segue out. We're going to segue out of the T-Birds because this man got a really nice Mark 7, too. And he's oh. so humble. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I would definitely love to show you my Mark as well, too. So, like I said, I just love the camaraderie and everybody. We're all family here. Very bottom line. What a beautiful example. You're blessed, man. You're lucky. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But birds and beverages. I love it. We just came up with this, guys. I talk about my junk all day long. These people are really the club. They're the ones, that, you know, your cars are way cooler than anything I work on. I've been nah, saying that. But, nah, you know what? Like I said, I've been around watching SCC away for a while. I'm a big procrastinator. I finally joined, but even before that, by the time I did join, I had already met so many great people. My man, Tim, my man, Randall, my man, Mike, the list goes on. The Super Coop family, we're one like no other. And I hope it stays like that forever. I Cheers. appreciate you. Long live the Super Coop. Long live. All right, thank you. Absolutely, that was freaking hot. That's cool, man. That was fine. All right, we're still here at All Forge National Carlisle with the Super Coupe Club of America's own, Dave Nybert. He's gonna tell us about his beautiful white Super Coupe. Oh, for beers cheers. and beverages. It's all you, brother. It's a 91 Super Coupe with a 4.2 liter motor and a 2.3 liter Whipple and a full-size radiator from a 97 Thunderbird, a 95 millimeter throttle body, it's got uh, medium length headers, stainless exhaust. Pretty much everything's been done to the, the brakes have been upgraded. The, the, uh, it's got a 4R7W transmission with a standalone controller. Uh, no power adders anymore other than the, the supercharger. Everybody wants to know, what's, what's the horsepower number? Uh, about 500 at the wheels. Five at the wheels, okay. So around uh, Best of uh, high high tens in the current configuration, and it's ran uh, ten six uh, with nitrous and a smaller motor and smaller blower. So, but that was with Chris Weiss driving, so doesn't really count. So. And and I've told this on a couple other interviews. I did one with Ken. This guy has probably raised me, right? You guys have kept me out of jail a few times, oh, right? Yeah, yeah probably. Right? So you taught me to flip Flippy Cup. Flippy though. Cup. I, I brought him into Flippy Cup. You know, we but, spread uh, it through Missouri now. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So we've had some good times. Um, 
every you, you guys are diehards. You and, and your wife Kathy are great people, diehards of the of the cars. Now he also has a great garage. He has a Hellcat. So I want to know the comparable. Uh, they're, they're not really comparable. Not comparable at all. No, no. Hellcat. But for for nineties, this is yeah, for nineties, good this stuff. Is great. Yeah. Right. So I got turn you. it turning it more into a uh, less of a drag racer, more of a cruiser now. Made the exhaust quieter. Uh, put a you know a lock up converter in. Put the AC back on it. A full width radiator, condenser, and everything, uh, just to make it run cooler. Uh, so now it's now it's uh, a a fast cruiser instead of a, a drag racer. You can tell my drag racing wheels. Heck yeah. Because uh, I, I broke too much stuff. And I try to tell people the Super Coupe Club. It's a family. Yep. You guys drove all the way here from Missouri. I mean, I, that's how many miles? 800. 800 miles just to hang out and drink beer with me over beers and beverages and birds and all yep. that stuff. And, and you know, just great people. Blessed. Blessed to be your friend, man. I just... Oh. <laughs> you just no, <laughs> no. But uh, that's it. That's birds and beverages, man. We're just talking cars, drinking some cold beers. It's a nice day here at Carlisle. Great day. And, uh, cheers. Cheers. Shake hands. Make it weird. Whatever we got to do. <laughs> all right. Thank you. All right. We switched to Red Bull. <laughs> Camera lady, aka my wife, informed me on my last segment. I said beers and beverages rather than birds and beverages. So I've been tamed down to the Red Bull. Birds and beverages. But we're here with Pat de Persia. And uh, he's one of the great what would you say, like president, vice president? They, Whatever you like. Make they, it up. They run yeah. the SCCOA, okay? And they're family to me. But we're gonna let him tell us about his beautiful car here on the next installment of Birds and beverages. Birds and beverages. Cheers. Take it away, brother. Cheers. All right, so we've got a 1994 Ford Thunderbird SC here today. Um, I spent two, three years looking for this car, actually. I had to have blue, which is my favorite color. Uh, wanted to be a five-speed car and a couple options and stuff, but I found this in Columbus, Ohio. I'm from the Philadelphia area and uh, drove out one weekend with a friend, checked it out, uh, gave the guy some money and went back a couple weeks later and drove it home and I've had it since. That's probably like 99, 98, somewhere in there. So I'm actually the third owner. Uh, had 24,000 miles on it when I got it. I turned 66,000 on the way here. Uh, I was my daily driver for a few years. Uh, absolutely love the car. It's just, it's just a lot of fun to take out on the weekends with the family and drive around. And uh, drove it every day for a couple years and then uh, decided I really like this car and I don't want to see anything happen to it. So I put it in the garage and uh, that was it for it. it. Sat in the garage for a little too long, actually. So uh, I try and get it out now every uh, every couple weekends when the when the weather's nice. Come out to Carlisle, hang with all our friends and family here, and uh, it's just been a really great community. Really enjoy hanging out with everybody and uh, getting together. It's nice and, uh, to catch up with everybody. We've been doing this for 25 years, maybe. Right. And it's nice to see all the cars back. We've got like 25 cars. We used to have like over 100 cars back in the day. So it's nice to see it it building back up. And uh, I've already, I already filmed Kenny, I already filmed Dave, and, and probably yourself. You guys kept me out of jail a few nights, right? Maybe. We've had some maybe. Times I mean, here. I, I don't want to right, you know, right? speculate. It's family Channel, right? <laughs> family Channel. But uh, you guys are great family. Uh, you got a beautiful a example, man. Thank and, you. I mean, Thank you. And and you can't ask for more in the midnight blue with the the mocha interior. Yeah, that blue is great. Um, and like you said, that's why it took you a while to find it, right? Yeah, yeah I had to have the blue. I, I actually did not want the mocha interior. I wanted the gray interior. And now that I've had it, once I saw it, I really decided that the mocha was definitely the way to go. Yeah. So it worked out quite quite nicely in the end. Well, I appreciate you doing this, man. It's Absolutely. uh This has been fun today. Yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, doing this. You know, this. just flipping the format. I, I like hearing more about your car than me talking about my own stuff because everybody's car here is way nicer than anything I own. Yeah, get out of here. Come you, on, man. You guys have some really nice stuff. And uh, just to be affiliated with such a, a great group of people is a blessing. And um, yeah, well, all the know, years that you helped everybody out, though, uh, it's like you know you got a problem, take it down to Tim, he'll help you out. <laughs> so I don't want to hear it, man. You're uh, you're a rock star yourself. Well, we're gonna cheers to that. Cheers, man. And again, birds and beverages. Birds we switched. And beverages. We've uh, switched to Red Bull, so now I I know what to say here, and uh, I appreciate you, man. You too, buddy. And uh, love you, brother. And uh, I do too, man. Love you. All Thanks. right. All right, another installment, Birds and Beverages. <laughs> Here with my buddy Ralph. Probably remember him from uh, the episode where I lost coolant at the Cars and Coffee. And Ralph was, uh, SC stands for... Super Coupe. 
Super complicated. That too. All right. <laughs> but uh, Ralph is a very blessed man. He is here, not with one, but two birds. And I'm going to let you take it from here, Ralph, and tell us about your Super All right. Coops. All right. I got a 94 Super Coupe. It's a five speed. I bought it in 2006 after my Turbo Coupe got smushed by a tree. <laughs> so, a uh, little bit of modifications done to it. It's got a 75 millimeter throttle body, 60 pound injectors, a 7% pulley on the, on the uh, supercharger, and 308 gears in the rear. It went from 15 seconds in the quarter down to 13.6, best so far. Hopefully, in colder air, it'll even do better than that. Beautiful. So, that's about all I'm going to do with this car. I'm, <laughs> but I'm the third owner of it. This car was actually salvaged. Somebody wrapped it around a phone pole on a test drive at the dealer from what I heard. So it, uh, for a salvage car, it's in really good shape. Wow, I didn't know that story. That's fantastic. Yep. So you've pretty well restored this one back to its current glory. I mean, it's a beautiful car, right? I've had to do some paint work to it periodically. Okay. It just came out of the paint because the C pillars back there were cracked and starting to rust. Okay. Clear coat going. And so it's been painted from the doors all the way around the back, the trunk lid and put new windshields in both cars <laughs> so and, and <clears throat> i've probably known this red car for about 15 years well i've had it since 06 how many years is that <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's 23. yeah so. and, and again um, i'm on red bull because beers and beverages was confusing me so now i'm back to birds and beverages uh -huh. and that's why I, I can't do the math right now i can't either so we're I'm at like old. that's 17 years okay. right so we're that close good and then and then really just a make everybody envious of you you just picked this one up right i picked this one up september 21 i saw it on facebook one of our fcco members put it on and i was the first one to respond to it i beat randall burnett i think it's his last name he, <laughs> he called second on it and uh it's been a west coast car most of its life there's hardly any rust on it i had to repaint the front bumper and the hood because it was pitted from sandstorms other than that, the car is pretty much stock, except for the hood. It's got a Cobra R hood on it. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And it's got an aftermarket radiator on it because the previous owner was afraid it might overheat in Las Vegas. <laughs> Had to recover the front seats and the windshield uh, stun visors, rather. And other than that, I haven't done a whole lot to it. And, uh, uh, and it's a beautiful blue. Yeah, and, and the blue is, is one of my favorite colors. Yep. I mean, it, it's very hard to find this color. We just talked to Pat. He's he's in the same boat as you. You guys are blessed to have his color. And um, his is slightly lighter color than this is for that some right? reason. I think his is a 94. It must have changed a little bit in 95. Okay. So, And uh, as I've told everybody, you, you've kept me out of jail a few times here probably, right? <laughs> you guys have kind of raised me. Yeah. You got to watch out for you younger guys. You know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, now I got family, kids, and wife. Right. I've tamped it down yourself. a little bit. You yeah. Yourself. yeah. Yep. But, um, man, I, I appreciate everything you guys do every year. The friendship, the camaraderie. I mean, you're family to me at this point. Well, that's the and, whole uh, reason for coming up here and, uh, is the friendship and making new friends. And yeah. this is the most super coops I've seen at this event. And I've been coming for 10, 12 years, maybe longer. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. It, uh, it just keeps getting better and better every year. And, and I told Ralph to bring a drink. Don't, don't judge a book by its cover. I mean, he, he brings over the, you know, the fireball whiskey, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to cheers to that. Hey. He actually did a shot before we got on camera. And, uh, oh. you know, I've been tamed down. But if you want to do another one, I'll cheers to it. Uh, well, let, me, let me get a <laughs> cap your arm, right? Let me get a there cap you go. It. All right. <laughs> And we're about to be photobombed, I think. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Cheers to that. <laughs> All right. That's perfect. All right. We're back with another installment of Birds and Beverages. Doing a little bird talk here with my buddy Adam. I love Adam's car. It's unconventional when you think Super Coupe. Well, hell, it's not a Super Coupe, right? Uh, LX. But by God, I love it. And, and I want you to start it. You're going to be the only person that starts your car on this whole segment because it just sounds so damn good. But at this point, I'm gonna let you take over. Let me cheers you, take you a sip, and uh, tell us what you wanna tell us, man. That's a 93 uh, Thunderbird LX. Uh, originally was a five liter car. Um, I've gone a little bit further with that now. It's got a uh, Dart 363 stroker that's all built up. Uh, <clears throat> haven't really touched any, or un left anything untouched in the motor and all that. It's also been converted to a five speed. I've got 
pretty much a full built suspension underneath of it so she handles like she's on rails and it's just the worst car, part of the car is getting out of it because it's just so much fun <laughs> and and i gotta ask for my own personal reasons the stance of your car looks awesome what have you done with the suspension uh it's got eyebox springs on it but the front ones have got almost a full oh. ring cut out of them. okay so that's why they're so low i am planning on raising it up a little bit because it is so low okay i've got a set of bills coilovers with the dual adjustables and all that kind of stuff ready to go on there i just haven't quite got to it yet so i was just trying to get here for the first time so. and uh you're kind of the resident guy that everybody asks how do you five speed swap these cars right it, pretty much yeah i mean my you know my buddy zach he was he did it years ago learned from him and i know several other people with him and of course i'll be like i've done it so you know when it when it comes to the five speeds and all that kind of stuff i've had my foot in the door a little bit <laughs> okay all right yeah and, and again I, I think this car looks nasty man i just love the look of it um it says nasty bird on the front for a reason uh it looks nasty it sounds nasty uh what you've done to the front tell us about that man that's so cool so i ended up i took you know it's regular sc slash lx uh bumper but then I put the 94, 95 headlights on there. And then I took two of the uh, Fox body grills for the 93 Cobras, cut it to widen it and everything else and then make it fit in there. And then I have added the 96, 97 Scoop Cobra R hood, which I am going to end up making functional for it too. So. Oh, beautiful. And, and again, I, I hate to put you on the spot, but you got to start this car. It just, it just sounds <laughs> wicked, man. It's so good. So good. Just in, in the raw form, it just sounds so good, man. And of course, you know, I've got exo electric exhaust cutouts, so that makes it all... Oh, you got the cutouts. See, I'm learning. Yeah, that's why it's always gets so loud. sounds so good man just and, uh, about the sound of a, uh, a windsor with a nice cam in it 100 percent, man and, uh, <laughs> and 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 i just love that it's functional and i've said this on a couple different cars already your car gets here every year or it gets to events you know mine's usually on jack stands of some sort but absolutely uh, i just love it i just love it man i i can't say that enough i'm gonna repeat it a lot but uh the motor that's in here, I've had in here for a little over three years now, and it's got right around 30,000 miles on it. And this is not a daily driver either. So that's all pretty much just fun miles and coming home after work, getting stu done with stuff, and then taking a cruise in it. So. Heck yeah, man. Well, mine has 800 miles in eight years, and it's usually on jack stands. <laughs> so again, that's a testament to what you've built here. Uh, I think it's a great example, man. Just, you know, again. I appreciate it. it it's a car show. Run with Jabrong, and, and this thing looks bad, man. It just looks bad, it sounds bad. It's bad, it's all it is. Hopefully bad. for next year I'll get her painted. No promises, but I'm I, I would I'm clear it. On it. I would clear it and leave it where it is, man. I, I just, I really love the look. I love the Bill Elliott uh, side, uh, you know, decals. You know, that yeah. was a 90s thing. I, I just, I really love everything about it. I can't say that enough, man. You've done yep, a great it was, job. It was one of 500 of them made in 93. That's so. cool, man. That's very cool. Yeah. Well. I'm gonna cheers you. Cheers. Thank you so much for sharing your car with the channel, oh, man. It, means, it means a lot to me. And your friendship means a lot to me. And uh... all right, another installment. Birds and beverages here with one of our viewers, buddy Dan. Actually, everybody I've viewed is I've interviewed as a viewer, but Dan just found me last week. We've talked a few times. We found the channel. I found the channel. And he's got another one of 628. And I'm gonna let him take it over. 95 pearl white car. Go ahead. Picked this car up a couple years ago. Uh, she was a little rough shape. I put a motor in it. That motor was no good, and I 
bought this motor from Dave Delk and then he tuned it when we were done. Has uh, magnet power, supercharger, and inlet, 60 pound injectors, uh, lightning mass airflow sensor. It's got uh, built heads and roller rockers, uh, girdles. Then I got the infamous magnet powers intercooler that likes to keep people warm. <laughs> um, which I have no problems with now. I was 180 degrees all the way here, five and a half hours. Really? Thanks to Dave, because he tuned it that good where I only get to 210 when it's like 96 degrees outside with the AC on. So other than that, I, re I rebuilt the motor. I rebuilt the transmission. We did a bunch of front end work a couple years ago. Uh, I gave it a quick paint job three years ago, uh, which, which it'll probably need another one. And then uh, did the interior two weeks ago and the rear suspension. Tranny shifts great. I tried, attempted to tint the windows the other day. They're not perfect, but they're tinted. The back window was really bad. I'll never, I'll never want to do it again. The one corner, <laughs> the one corner got really messed up, so it's kind of rough. But this is not an easy feat for anybody to do. Um, everything's been rebuilt. Rear diff, uh, all the brakes upgraded. Um, while the backs are just normal, but the front's been upgraded. Now I'm trying to dig in my memory bank. I talked to you and. The COVID year. That was the year you painted, 19, right? 19, 2019. 19. Yeah, that was the first year yeah. I painted it. Yep. That's when we first met. I remember that. Yeah. And yep. I was talking to you about the Magnum Power setup because my car always runs hot, but you, yeah. you got it I, sorted. I didn't have a Magnum Powers on it yet then. That was just a stock motor with the uh, Magnum Powers intercooler. Right. I didn't have a Magnum Power supercharger on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But yeah, man, I, I really love everything you've done with this car. Thank you. And you have the, is it the Opal Gray? It's opal gray interior, yep. And you got all the fun bolt-ons, man. So it's, you I said do. it's just a fun ride, right? It is. It's fun. It could be a little... It, it's a little stiff in the back. I do have the largest sway bars you could put on these things. There you go. And they were they were no fun to put on. The, the, this here, I had to do everything to take the motor out and put it in. Um, so it, it, it handles extremely well, especially when you're aggressive with it. But if you're just trying to cruise and you hit a bump, you kind of... You know, it, it kind of feels like a little bit of like a pickup truck. <laughs> but after tuning the suspension two weeks ago and getting getting the alignment, um, I, I think we got it perfect because I had to do custom stab links in the back to get that sway bar just right after lowering it. Uh, because when I first put it in, the sway bar was up here, uh, the stock sway bar. So I just went to the store and I found a bunch of different sway bar links and we just started making them fit and got them right. So it actually made a huge difference with the sway bars and all that. Other than that, I, I'm starting to run out of things to do. Yeah. And then I started messing with this. This is a this is a prototype. I got to do a little bit different. This is this is just for this week, and I'm going to take it all out and then redo it with thicker metal because uh, it is insulated and it does make a little bit of a difference with uh, with the temperature because it actually is colder on the inside. Um, other than that, I I mean I don't know what else to do with it yet other than spend more money. Hey man, enjoy it. I will enjoy every, it. I, every minute of it. You know I love your car because of the color. Yes, I do. And uh, I was I was waiting to see you because I, <laughs> I knew I, I knew for sure you were one that had one of these, and I don't really know how many more right. are out there. You know, they're out there, man. We're just uh, few and far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, this is going to be in the trust for the boys, so you know they, 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 when they get it, hopefully they're. Uh, they'll enjoy it for many years after absolutely well i appreciate you definitely i uh i'm trying to really portray today that carlisle is a family event it and, is. and we're all like a brotherhood here and uh, you know it's great seeing each other year after year and and seeing how the cars have progressed how the kids have grown yep and, definitely and if you can do it over a cold beverage uh, they put on youtube it's even better and i'll tell you i've been wanting this for years because i bought my first super coupe in uh 2004 and i've been wanting to come here for years i just didn't know anybody and i wasn't going to go by myself and it was always a long trip uh until i started you know i met rob and brad and all them guys so all right now we got i got somebody to go with you know and, and so since 2004 i've been wanting to come here and, and get in well, thanks for sharing your car, man. Yep. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. All right. All right. Back here. Birds and beverages. Everybody knows this guy already. He's like my right-hand man. He fixes everything I break. It's my buddy Chris. Made us out of the camera jump. That was a peanut there just like squeezing the camera lady. Yep. 
she just came on board. But <laughs> as I told Chris, I'm just going around today here at Carlisle, having everybody tell me about their cars, what they find special about them, and uh, kind of flipping the format. Everybody knows my junk, so I'm gonna cheers you. Birds and beverages, go ahead. This is my 94 Thunderbird Super Coupe, five speed. Picked it up uh, back in 2009 from Tampa, Florida. Uh, it was pretty stock then, had some wheels on it. Um, since then, I, uh, I put the auto rotor blower from my other car on there. And when I did that, I also did the head gaskets just to refresh them and found out there was a bent rod on the number one cylinder. So I've been beating on it and it's it's been taking it for 12 years now or so. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I enjoy the car a lot. Put some 20 inch wheels on it. They're probably worth more than the car, that and the blower. Uh, I use it for the twisties. Run the, run the roads and the twisties. I enjoy that. Handles them real well. And, and just for backstory, I met Chris at Carlisle. Chris and I became friends my first year I came to Carlisle in 2001. And uh, we just hit it off from the jump. I don't, I mean, we've, we're like family. The kids call him Uncle Chris. You've seen him in several videos. Uh, he's actually mechanic on my car and wrenched on it more than he would probably like to talk about. I'm shocked he's still my friend at times uh, when I consider that. Um, man, and, and uh, again, well, I've really been trying to portray in all of these is like the brotherhood and the friendship and you know you've seen me grow up we've kept each other out of trouble a few times here been some stories we don't uh we don't divulge right we're not gonna stays in car yeah what happens here is kind of like vegas in a way right <laughs> but um man this car is durable i don't yeah it, it's durable and if somebody has a problem at, at carlisle it, it usually gets solved i don't think anybody's ever been stuck no, no or had to go home on a trailer and you you mentioned that bent rod on number one how many years have been riding this car with a bent rod since i had since i bought it in 2009 and it's i put the ar on it probably 2013 2014 maybe that just blows my mind and uh and we and i don't i don't treat it light we go to indiana on t-bird meets and Yes, race, race Mustang. So if you uh, if you if you've been watching the channel, he's in my very first video. We kicked it off when we went to uh, French Lick yep. uh, to hang out with Jacob Royer, and um, we went on the power tour with this car. And uh, this crazy cat, we went to Alabama, <laughs> and then he had to drive all the way back to Virginia to see a lacrosse game because he's a good dad, great dad, and uh, then drove all the way back, got the long haul. I mean, this this thing just goes everywhere with a bent rod, which is just crazy because my car makes it about once every four years so that, that year we had starter problems too so i had to make sure i parked <laughs> on a hill so i could jump it with the we've pushed with it the clutch. i've pushed this car a few times <laughs> that's the least i could do uh for the great friendship everything that um i mean you're you're the closest thing to a brother i have uh reality wise i mean when it comes to the super coupe brotherhood and um i love this car i i, I love it just because it's it's functional and um uh, it's and, not pretty but it's functional and uh you were actually the one that convinced me i needed to chrome everything under my hood chris is the mastermind that put it all together um you know i i can't i can't take that credit man you turned the wrenches on it dude and uh you introduced me to captain and coke private stock so i appreciate that as well <laughs> but um that's it i hope everybody comes out to carlisle we're flipping it today again birds and beverages i was saying beers and beverages but i got uh again demoted to red bull just to tame it down a little bit it might be vodka in there. <laughs> yeah he knows me <laughs> but uh cheers man thanks cheers. for telling us about your car thank you all right another installment birds and beverages i'm with a friend i just met moments ago dave anderson he's going to tell us about this beautiful example 88 turbo coupe and a great story that he just told me and i said we got to get this on film so dave i'm gonna cheers you Cheers. And uh, it's you, brother. Yeah, this is an 88. This is the third Turbo Coupe I've owned. This is a picture of all three of them when I had them together. 
sold the white one because it was an automatic. I wanted a five speed. This is my parents back in 63 when he had a 56 and she had a 61. So it's kind of in the family. Yeah, it's in the blood. That's awesome. But I lucked into this one. It was in the same town that I live in. Didn't even know it was for sale. And a friend of mine said, I have another friend who's selling Cobra Coop. I said, well, I'll look at it, but I have two already. So I went and looked at it, and it was so well kept. It was like 59,000 miles. Wow. Uh, had more power than anything I've ever driven. And he said he always used synthetic oil and super gas, which I had never used in my other super gas. And it made a big difference, and that's what I've used in it ever since. So as you can tell, I'm a NASCAR freak. And I saw these cars originally back in 87 when Bill Elliott set the record at Talladega. Right. I was there for that event, and we were all telling ourselves how slow they were going because the track is so big and we were so far up in the grandstands. But that's the last weekend I think they went that fast because they slowed them down yep. with the stricter plates. So that record will probably stand forever at 212.8. So that's what turned me on to the Thunderbirds, and liked them ever since. So. And you've been you've been at Carlisle as many years as I have, to my knowledge. You've been here last how many years? At least twenty. 25. Yeah, yeah. I've seen your car every year, and it is a beautiful, clean example. And um, again, we talked a little bit last year. Since um, again, I just picked one of these up, and I have to pick your brain so I know what to expect. You guys are the experts, but. Uh, Everything paint-wise, that's all stock paint, right, if I recall, right? Yeah. It's a stock color. Stock color, okay. But it's uh, stock paint. It's all true. Uh, twilight blue. Twilight blue. You don't see another car here in that color. No, I don't see another twilight blue, you're right. You don't, I've never seen another one up here in this color, but it was a stock color. Will be. Uh, twilight blue metallic. It's absolutely a beautiful example. And uh, I'm thankful you're on the channel today, man. This is all about just making <laughs> new friends and talking Thunderbirds and... You know, it's a nice warm day and, and enjoying a cold drink. So I can access your channel through yeah. YouTube? Yeah, yeah, it was 628 Productions. Okay. Yep, and I'll get you on there, and uh, I appreciate you. I will um, certainly look it up. And that's how we're, how we're going to keep these cars alive, man, <laughs> and uh, get the word out. Because a lot of people, you know, they don't they don't know this stuff. We do, but uh, if we don't tell it, it never gets sold, right? Correct. I appreciate you. I'm gonna cheers you again. Hey, thanks for thank stopping by. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Yep. There it goes. Okay, we're, we're on. All right, back here with a special guest on Bird and Beverages, Chris's dad, Sherman. Sherman's a blessed man. He's got probably the one of the nicest Marauders here. Our next guest is standing right over there. What do you mean one of the nicest? We got another another celebrity right over there. He's, he's one of the nicest. Okay. This is the nicest. This is the nicest. He's, yeah. he's runner up. Now, I say this is a celebrity appearance. Sherman, you've been on Pastime, right? I've been on Pastime, yep. I worked a number of years ago. In fact, Mark and I were on Pastime. I blew his doors out. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your uh, beautiful Marauder. Well, it's got a whipple on it. Uh, uh, it's it's seven hundred horsepower. Seven hundred horse at the rear wheels. Weighs forty-two hundred pounds. Quickest time is nine nine. One hundred thirty-eight. It's a lot of fun to drive, a whole lot of fun to drive. I wish I could still drive it. And that's a nine second and car, right? That's a nine second car, Ooh. nine nine and 138, yeah. Like and uh, I see you got that drag week plaque up there. Tell me about that. Well, my son won that at last uh, day, uh, two, two races ago. And he actually, the guy he raced in the final beat him to the light. But, he ran too fast, so he was disqualified. So guess who won? There you go. You got it. And uh, you're a man after my own heart. You got everything blinged out. That's how I ride as well. Yeah, we tried. We polished it up and took the upper parts out of it. Took the molding off the doors. Wiped uh, out the gas filler. Put a roll bar in. It's it, to our life. <laughs> okay, and that's how you have to do it. One bit at a time, do it right. Well, I appreciate you being on the, my channel today. Uh, thank uh, you. You've, you've been uh, a great family member, you and Chris. You guys have, uh, I've told a lot of people, you've raised me. 
you know? Yeah. You guys have kept me out of jail a few times here, probably for that matter. Kept me out of trouble. Probably. Yeah, but uh, I appreciate you, man. You got a beautiful example of a marauder. And uh, I know Mark's over there. He's he's chomping at the bit to, uh, he, he, he wants to tell about his pastime experience as well. So I, I appreciate well, he's got, you. He's got a choke on. I got a race car. So that's good. Uh, <laughs> race car and the There we go. Okay. Well, thank you. Mommy, it's good, good to see you. Good. Thank you. Shot of the wheel sheet. Cut down. Got some narrow stock marauder wheels. Yeah, those are one off wheels, aren't they? You uh -huh. guys cut the factory wheels? Yeah. Yeah. So if you're not, uh, you're not sure what you're next to, it might stick up on you. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. You're up, Mark. Back on here, another installment of birds and beverages. Another special guest, my buddy Mark. Hey. Mark is also a marauder guy. Also, TV celebrity on Pastime. And uh, go Mark, ahead. In Pastime, and let me see. Senior moment here. Hanks. Hanks all out. There we go. <laughs> and uh, again, I've known Mark and Sherman. They're kind of an extension of my buddy Chris's family. And uh, I'm going to let you take it over. You tell us about your beautiful car, Mark. Well, my car is a little bit different than Sherman's. I have an air conditioner, <laughs> and I can keep things cool. It has a two-three blower on it, not like the, the three-zero blower that Sherman has. A little bit different type of build, uh, but as far as performance and getting there done, she gets down the track anywhere between eleven six and eleven four, and even in the hot days. Nice, and uh, pretty much everything on this car has been touched, just like Sherman's, right? Oh yeah, we we spent a lot of love in getting this car together with the big thumper up front for the tensioner. Uh, we've got the performance uh, intake tube system, water flow, real, real big intercoolers, and a lot of good fun stuff that I can go on. Uh, this whole list on this board of things that we did in the last ten years. And some of the pictures to the right hand side are some of the pastime pictures. Yeah, and that was really cool. You guys kind of uh, transitioned everybody to knowing what the, the Panther platform could do, right, in these cars? Yeah, we did some ridiculous things, and uh, I spent a lot of time at different tracks and getting the name out. And that was, that was like 2004 or 2005, 6, 7, 8, yeah. 9. Yeah. And, man, both of your cars are just absolutely beautiful, clean examples. And, again, you, you guys are the first ones to do it. Now everybody's just trying to catch up, right? Pretty much, but, you know, there are things that we've done that, that, that can't be done anymore. Right. Just uh, the timing, uh, the love of the passion of drag racing has changed dramatically. There's no more pinks all out. There's no more past time. So, you know, we did those things. Yeah. We really want to get back into the racing, but, you know, Sherman's getting a little bit older, and now I have a grandmother to take care of. And yeah. so there's a lot of time not on my side stuff. And I, lo I love the decal, grocery getter. <laughs> yeah, that actually came from somebody in Virginia the car show, and he said, oh man, that's a great grocery getter. So I got the sticker made in camo and- Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. Um, I've been really trying to hit home today. This is a family deal. And you know, just all the years we've known each other and the camaraderie and just enjoying cars. Yeah, we love cars. And the, the passion. and. Uh, I mean, hell, we went to the Richmond race like 10 years ago together. All That's, that is correct. You know, I mean, it's just been a long time getting to know everybody and just enjoying it. But uh, it's been a great turnout here in, in uh, Pennsylvania, Carlisle. And I was surprised how many cars, older cars that are showing up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for being on the channel. I'm going to cheers you. And again, this is an extension of uh, birds and beverages. And uh, you're going to be my last one. It's getting hot. It's time to sit down in some shade. And, and really enjoy a cold beverage in the cool. There you go. And uh, I appreciate everybody. It's been fun today here at Carlisle doing birds and beverages. We just wanted to change it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, if you like what you saw today, you're into these cars, anything forward related, being fast, uh, subscribe, like, leave a comment. We're and out. Do it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sell it for me, Mark. Thank you, buddy. Do it now. Appreciate man. you. All righty.